Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my big holiday haul. I did one of these on my channel last year and I thought I'd do the exact same type of video because I haven't just shopped in like one place to do a haul I've done like loads of little mini hauls and we're going to put them together to make one big haul for you now how many times can I say haul at the start of this video but we'll go straight into it I'm not going to do a try on for this video one because I'm very tight on time right now I'm also very tight on space if you could see the other side of this camera and to the side of me I've got shopping bags everywhere um, my case is out ready to pack so my room is not looking the best for a try on haul um, and also last year I uploaded outfit of the days every night on holiday um, onto my TikTok so I'll link that down below as well just so you can see how I actually style the pieces instead of watching me try on a random t-shirt so yeah if you want to see them outfit of the days then make sure you follow my TikTok I will link it down below also my Instagram I'll definitely be posting lots of outfit pictures over on there so make sure you give that a follow as well and let's get straight into the video. I wish I could turn the camera around right now and show you exactly what I'm looking at. I thought I'd kept my shopping to a minimum because last year I actually did buy a lot of clothes for holiday, like pretty much a whole new summer wardrobe. Um, and my plan is to rewear as much of that as possible. I am definitely rewearing a lot of it. Um, but I just wanted to get a couple of bits here and there and also just. I like to shop, like I just wanted to treat myself a little bit. Um, so I've not bought, I don't think, as much as what I have last year. But I've just bought a couple of little bits to add into my wardrobe. Um, but a lot of what I took last year, I will also be rewearing. Same as last year, I feel like it's going to be really hard to show you some of these pieces without actually trying them on. But I will link. I don't know the prices to everything. Um, like some things, the tags have been removed. Most of the stuff from Zara, um, I can tell you the prices on. But I will try my best to link everything down below so you can either see it on the model, see the prices or if you just want to get anything so I'll make sure I'll link it down below um, but like I said I will be styling all these outfits over on my TikTok so the first thing that I bought is actually from Depop when I've been looking for holiday outfits this year all I can find is Australian brands I love like nothing from England was really cutting it for me when I was looking the time I would find something that I liked I clicked on it and it was from Australia and I've just never really ordered anything from there before so I didn't know um, about like import charges and things like that so I was a bit sceptical and also some of the stuff that I was wanting was quite expensive and I couldn't really justify spending that much when I knew I'd probably only wear it once. So I thought I'd have a little look on Depop. Like I never really shop on there but my best friend always does and she was like have a look. You'll probably be able to find something and straight away I found the set that I had been looking for. I see a couple of people had it in their bag and I was like do you know what it's fake get it. Um, so I did. This set is originally from Baby Boo Fashion um, but obviously I got it off of Depop. So it is just this little, I don't know the, how well the colours are going to pick up on camera. I still don't know how to work this camera. Um, but it's this little like lemony colour crop top. So, so it's just a one shoulder crop top and then this is like a little cutout detail. So that is the top. And then it just comes with this floor length skirt which I absolutely love floor length. I'm not really a fan of like midi anymore like it's either got to be mini or maxi i don't like it when it's cutting on my calves i like it to be floor length or short um so this is the perfect length for me and i'm five foot seven i don't know why i had to think about it then i'm five foot seven um and it's just the same lemon color with the cutout at the top and it goes and it just goes all the way to the floor and it's just this i don't know if you're going to be able to see it on camera but it's like this ribbed material you're not going to be able to see that on camera. Um, so yeah, I just got that set. And I feel like this is going to be my outfit. When we're there, we want to go to this restaurant called Taboo. Um, so I feel like this is going to be my outfit for that. I'm really Moving on, I got a couple of bits from Mercy. But I had seen this zebra like beach cover-up on Tasha from Love Island. And I think I saw her in it probably at the end of last year. And I was like, I need to get that for my holiday. And honestly... This looks so, so nice on. I really wanted to try and make it an evening outfit, but my mum was like, you can't do it. It's, it is mesh, but if I was to just wear it, all I'm going to do is wear a black bikini with it poking out and black bikini bottoms. So if I was to do the same with some like black high-waisted knickers and a black bralette, surely I could make it an evening outfit. Um... I don't know, but I'm definitely going to wear this as a beach cover up and this is something that I will keep year in, year out. There's something about zebra print and me lately. Last holiday I had quite a few zebra print things 
and I just can't get enough of it. I got this cover up in a size 8 and again this goes all the way to the floor which is perfect for me. Then I saw that they had a shirt version of it on the website and it gave me like rat and boa vibes so I was like which one do I get? Like I can't get both like I say zebra print and me seem to be a thing at the moment. I can't get two things in the exact same print so I was like I'll order both try them on see which one I prefer and we'll go from there but I tried them on and I couldn't decide so I am keeping both but I feel like I'm gonna have this as more of like an evening outfit it's the exact same print and material so it's a little bit see-through um but it's just one of them shirts with the ruffles down the side that you just tie together in the middle so I feel like I'm gonna style this with maybe some denim shorts or I have got a black mini skirt as well um, so I'm going to try and style it that way, but I did also think, again, it would be cute with a black bikini, like when we go on a boat trip, I feel like you tend to get, this camera seems to be really overexposed today, I feel like you tend to get a little bit more burnt on the boat because it's like windy, I don't know, my mum just always used to tell me that you get burnt like out on a boat, so I thought this would be nice to just have on over the bikini and tie it over my shoulders, considering as well, I think when you come back on the boat trip, it's like the sun setting, and it is Mexico, so I don't think it will be getting cold, but maybe. But my plan is to wear this as like an evening outfit and then the dress as a beach cover-up. Um, definitely didn't need two things in the exact same printed material, but... You do but next from Sorel, I'm um, sticking with the rat and boa kind of vibes. I got this little green mesh dress, which again has the ruffles down the side, and then you just tie it across the chest. There, I've ended up getting quite a few long sleeve things, and I feel like that might be a mistake. But all of the things that are long sleeve are like either mesh or like a really lightweight material, so I'm hoping I should be okay. It's all evening outfit, they're all evening outfits, and I'm hoping. Obviously the hotel will be air cons and stuff. I'm just hoping it's not too humid outside. But I think I'll be fine. I hope I'll be fine. Um, so yeah, it's just this little green dress. And you can tie it up at the front. I actually don't think the bottom half of it is that see-through. I've got a feeling the front is double lined. This only arrived... Oh, it's not. But when I tried it on, you could not see my underwear. You can see my nipples for it. So I think I would probably wear some nipple cover. Yeah, I just thought this was a really cute dress. I like it in the green. Would have liked it in zebra as well. And I don't have a lot of colour in my evening outfits, actually. So I thought this was a nice little addition. I think this is called the Miley dress on the website. Um, It doesn't say what size I got it in. But I either, I can't remember whether it was like small or mediums or like actual sizes. Um, but I probably would have either got it in an 8 or a small, whatever was available. So the next thing that I got, I actually can't remember the name of the company, but I'll make sure I link it down below. Um, but I just got myself this little, um, I feel like it's a Van Cleef dupe. Is it gonna focus? That's the question. So it's just this little Van Cleef dupe. It has the white four leaf clover and then it also has um, a gold diamante one as well. I have my Dior bracelet that I wear all the time but I actually don't think it's probably good for me to wear it in and out of the pool getting sun cream on it and things like that. So I just thought I would get myself just a little one that I can keep on at all times and then in the evenings I'll put my Dior one on as well um, just because I don't want that getting tarnished. But this one um, I think it cost me like £17 so it's going to be perfect just to throw on and keep on. So I just had a quick little break of filming, I was just scrolling through Instagram and going back to Mercy, they're releasing a spring summer collection, like why couldn't this come like a month sooner because I guarantee my whole holiday wardrobe would have been from there, but we move. So next I got a couple of extra bits from Primark and I've already shown you a few things that I got from Primark. Um, there was bits that I wanted and I kept going in and Primark seemed to have this thing where they just never have my size in stock in anything ever. No matter what Primark you go to, I've been to Blue Water, I've been to Canterbury, I've been to Westfield. Blue Water and Canterbury multiple times to find um, certain things and I've just either not been able to find them at all or they just haven't been in my size every single time that I've gone in. Um, but I just picked up a couple of extra bits. So this isn't really holiday related but I just want to show you it because it's so cute. Um, I picked up this little underwear set. It's just this pink mesh bra with this orange and white flower detailing on it. I don't know what's going on with my camera. You're not going to be able to see anything. Um, but yeah, I just got that and obviously it comes with the matching knickers as well which I'm not going to show you. Um, but I just thought this would be cute with a tan on holiday and just through the summer. 
Next up, I've got this white bag and it's giving me Jacquemus vibes. I really needed a lighter colour bag to go with a lot of my holiday outfits. I will take like my Prada bag and things like that to go with the darker ones. Um, but with things like the um, yellow set from Depop, that's just not going to go. And a lot of my outfits are like linen or just lighter colours that could do with a cream bag. Um, so yeah, I just got this one from Primark. It also does come with a longer strap to attach, but I can't lie, I probably won't attach that. But I just thought it was really nice. The cream with the gold detailing, all my jewellery is gold. So I just feel like it will look really cute. And this is something that I'll use when I'm back in England through the summer as well. Then if you're a girl and you're on TikTok, I feel like you know of like the viral yellow pyjamas that are going around. And um, where it's like the little bralette and knickers. I've been dying for them. And the thing is, a couple of months back, I went in and they had them in my size. And I was like... I'll come back and get them later. Never do that. Never ever do that. Because I've done that so many times recently. And I've never been able to get it in my size again. Um, and that is actually the reason why I've been trying to go into Primark so much. Because I just really wanted them. And I thought the yellow would look so nice with a tan. I couldn't find them. Um, but there is also another yellow set which I think is really nice. And my boyfriend actually managed to pick them up for me in my size. So, so it's just these are like yellow satin pyjamas with the little lace detailing down the side. And then it just comes with this top, um, which ties together at the front, and then it's open down the middle. I don't know what's wrong with me where I feel like I need to get, like, new pyjamas for holidays. But I just thought these would be really cute through the summer. And if there's one thing I'm going to treat myself to, it's new pyjamas. I, like, these drawers down here are full to the brim. I do actually need to sort them out because I have a pyjama problem. Primark pyjamas in particular because they are just so nice. Um, so yeah, I got that little set. Moving on now to ASOS. I don't actually tend to shop on ASOS. I know there's some really nice things on there, but I just find the website so overwhelming. So unless I have seen something on someone or like watched a haul and know specifically what I'm getting, I don't tend to shop on there just because I can never, ever... There's just so much and it's so overwhelming. Um, but I did find this little two-piece last minute. Like I said, there wasn't too much colour going on in my holiday outfits. And I did want... I'm very, I do very much like the neutrals, like the blacks, the linens, the whites. I love it. It's timeless. I'm never going to look back and be like, oh, why did I wear that? But I just wanted to throw in a little pop of colour here and there. Um, so I got this two-piece. I mainly got it for the skirt. It's just this floor-length skirt. I've got a lot of floor-length things as well. A lot of floor-length, a lot of long sleeves. But it's just this hot pink full length skirt with the little cutouts at the side that you can tie up um, so I mainly got it for this to mix and match with different tops but they did actually have a matching top on the website for it as well and it's just this little, it is very lightweight so I don't think the long sleeve will be a problem um, but it's just this little again hot pink top with the gold chain detailing in the middle so I do plan on wearing these together but I can also mix and match, I feel like this will look really cute with like some denim shorts or a little skirt and also the skirt, I've got a couple of white tops that will go with it as well. Also, last time we was there, um, on the rooftop, they did a pool party. And one of the themes was pink party. So I feel like I could wear this low-waisted with a little bikini as well. And I got both of these in a size 8. You do actually buy the top and bottom separately, which I actually prefer in cold. It depends on what the fit of the outfit is, but sometimes I can be two different sizes. Or, for example, like I have another set in a minute, just where I would prefer... The top to be a little bit more oversized so i do much prefer having to get them separately so i can pick my sizes next we have pretty little thing and i can't lie pretty little thing was not coming through for me this year i just couldn't seem to find anything that i overly liked or i would just look at it on the website and know like you know when you look at something can you think like that's going to be really really cheap material it will turn up it will be see-through um or just something like that so I just couldn't really find much this year and I did order a couple of bits that I had to send back just because the quality of them was really bad or was see-through or something like that um but the first couple of bits I got was just this gold double lined anklet and then I also got the gold belly chain as well just to accessorize a little bit I always buy myself like a cute little anklet when I'm on holiday but I just thought this one I can keep on at all times and I've got like my gold bracelet and things like that as well and then I also got the belly chain I had two belly chains from Shein last year but I feel like they're quite tarnished now just got this plain gold one I feel like it goes with everything 
Um, I'll add this on with bikinis and also for evening outfits as well. I haven't actually jumped on like the cargo hype yet, but I do love cargo trousers. I just don't actually own a pair. Um, and then when I was re I've struggled with finding outfits this year. Um, but I saw a couple of girls wearing like cargo skirts with bikinis over the top, and I just thought um, this would be perfect to like throw on if we're going on like a day trip. I know we're planning on possibly going to see Chichen Itza one day, so I just thought this would be quite a handy skirt to have just to throw on with like a little vest top or i think we're going to go to one of the parks again so it's just good to throw on over a bikini as like a little cover up just so i'm not getting on the coach in a full-on bikini um but it's something that i can walk around in as well i actually did size up in this and got a 10 and i'm really glad that i did i'm planning on wearing it probably open with my little bikini popping out but yeah i'm definitely glad i sized up and got the 10 just because i think it'll be a little bit more comfortable when i do it up if i'm sitting down and things like that moving on we have that little linen set that i was just talking about and this feels this doesn't feel like pretty little thin quality it feels so like not heavy but I ordered a linen outfit from there a couple of weeks ago that I had to send back. And I just did not like the quality of that one. But this is just completely different. It feels like I could have bought it from Zara. I just got the little shorts in a size 8. And then and this is a cold that you buy separately. So I actually got the shirt in a 10. Just because I wanted to make sure that it was oversized. And the sleeves don't cuff in. They're kind of like, not flared, but they're just... I don't know. They're just like that. I'm not very good at explaining things. I feel like it's all this white that's making everything overexposed. And now there's all stuff flying around. Um, but yeah, I got this in a 10. Just because I thought as well I could chuck it over a bikini. And again, things like this I can just mix and match. I might chuck it over a bikini in the day. But I also just thought it was more of a casual outfit for the evenings as well. Next we have White Fox Boutique. And let me tell you. I know I just said... Um, Everything that I liked was from Australian brands, but I never actually ended up ordering anything. This order was an accident, and my boyfriend does not believe me. He's like, yeah, of course you said it was an accident. It genuinely was. Um, I just was looking to see how much things, because I don't think it converts it to pounds either on the website. I added a tracksuit that I really wanted to my basket. Also, I'm not being extra by buying like an airport outfit. I've really wanted this hoodie for a long time, so I just thought I'll get it now. It could be an airport outfit, but I literally will probably wear this every single day for the next, like, year, two years until it shrinks or gets dirty. Um, so I just thought I'd add a couple of things to my basket just to see what the price was. But I didn't realise, like, shop pay was linked to it. And usually you have to obviously, like, double tap, Apple ID, Face ID, whatever, and it pays for it. So I added everything to my basket, clicked whatever, and it was like, thank you for your order. When I say, like, my stomach dropped out of my ass, I thought, shit, I've spent, like, £100 on a tracksuit. But when you actually convert it, it's only about £63, which is still a lot. But the quality of this stuff is definitely worth it. And I have wanted this set for so long. And, like I say, I will be getting my wear out of it. Also, when this arrived, I didn't have to pay, like, import charges or anything either. So I'm like... Oh, why didn't I order some other stuff? Because there's so much on White Fox that I love. Um, but it did take about two weeks to come. Um, but I just got this cream jumper. Which is like this on the back. It's a little hoodie. Um, and that is the front of it as well. And I've wanted one of these for so long. I feel like I see every girl on Instagram. Or like TikTok or somewhere wearing them. And they just always look so comfy. I got the cream colour. But they do so many other colours which I also want. And I got this in a medium to large and it fits exactly like I want it to. I think there is an option to go like large to extra large, which sometimes I tend to do with hoodies and things like that. And then sometimes, it depends on the company. Sometimes I regret it. Um, but I actually don't think I'd want this any bigger. It fits perfectly. I then just got these shorts to match it. These, I was really worried that these would be see-through, but I can't explain the material, but they're so... It's just a really nice material. When I took them out of the packet, I thought they might feel quite restrictive, but they're honestly so comfy. Um, so they look like this from the front, just nice, simple, nude coloured shorts. Um, and then they have the little seam going up the bum. They're not like ruched on the bum, but I still feel like the seam does you quite a lot of favours. And then it just has that little logo on the back. And like I say, this set together... I'm gonna live in. The colours don't look like they go together on camera, but the colour of the, oh, what's it called, like logo, they match. So I just thought it was quite a nice little set to wear together. And I also just thought the shorts would look nice in the summer with like a little white vest, crop top, and some sliders. I think I'm gonna wear sliders with this to the airport. Um, I should probably be smart on my trainers for like weight of the case, but 
I, ha I literally just have to travel in socks and sliders. Like, to me, there's no other option. Lastly, I just got a couple of bits from Zara. I really struggle finding outfits this time around. I feel like I've already said that, but just because we're going quite, just because we're going quite early on in the year, a lot of the shops still have their like, mm, like transitional stuff out. Zara has so many nice spring stuff out at the moment, but it's not like spring stuff that I could take on holiday. It's like trench coats and like just. I would say still transitional pieces. In the last couple of weeks, they have started to get the summer stuff out. Um, so that's where I managed to find a couple of little bits. Firstly, I just got these pair of shorts. I don't actually own any like long ones. And I feel like these could look quite cool. Especially in England as well. Some chunky trainers um, and a little vest. But I also, again, thought I could wear it with like a bikini. Just as a little throw on if we go on any trips or anything. Um, and I really like the wash of these. But they're just a little bit lighter than the other shorts that I own. And I got these in a size 8. Which is surprising that they fit me. Usually in anything denim, I would just get a 10 just to be safe. But these do actually fit quite nice i then picked up this top which is going to be really hard to show because i've undone the buttons of the neck but my nails are too long to be able to get it done back up again so i'm hoping he'll be able to do that on holiday otherwise i don't know what we'll do um but i saw again tasha from love island wear this top um in white and i thought oh it's inside out <laughs> I saw Tasha from Love Island wear this top in white. I was also going to get it in white, but I thought gold would just look really nice when I've got a little tan. And I plan on just wearing this with denim shorts. It's just this, like, champagne gold um, backless top. And the neck, it's hard to show when it's not on, but the neck kind of... Is it a cow neck, I suppose? Guys, I'm so bad. I'm just so bad at describing things. Um way to see it on because i cannot describe it looks really really nice on that's what the neck looks like it's backless um and i think i'm just gonna wear it with a pair of denim shorts so it's kind of like a simple outfit but not a simple outfit if you know what i mean um and i got this in an extra small and it was 22.99 then i just found this bodysuit lying on a random hanger like i couldn't find it anywhere else like i couldn't find its section with all the other sizes but I found it and I loved it. I love these colours together. And it's just like holiday vibes. I absolutely love all these colours together. I really like orange with a tan. Um, and just with the little hints of blue and stuff in there as well. I thought it was like really tropical vibes. Um, and when I looked, they had it in a size small. And it was just the only one lying around. So I was like, I'm picking it up. Don't know how I'm going to style it. But I need to take it with me. Like I say, I got this in a small and it was 17 99 I don't really know how to style it. Like, I've been trying a couple of things on with it and I'm just not sure what goes and what does. I have some denim shorts that are slightly darker wash than them ones. And I think I'll wear it like that, but I'm not too sure. Um, but again, I just thought this would be cute as well through the summer if I go for, like, any dinners um, to wear with some blue jeans and a little pair of heels. But I just couldn't leave it because the colours, to me, I just love this little mixture of colours. And, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to style it yet, but... We'll see. And the last thing that I got from Zara is this little linen mini dress. I feel like it's a different vibe to some of my other outfits and it's just quite cute. And I feel like I could wear it with a pair of like little white heels. I've got my little white bag, hair up, gold jewellery. Um, I don't know what to call this. Is it technically ruching or not? But it's like where the material... I'm not... A f I don't... I don't know. But the material isn't like flat. It's kind of like ruched in different areas. Um, but when I tried this on, this does look really nice. I got it in a size small. Again, the strapless things are a little bit of an issue with me because I have absolutely no boobs. So it does fit, but I feel like I would just tape it for a bit of security. And this was £32.99. So that is everything that I got. Well, I think everything. I am actually waiting for one bikini to turn up. I'm really, really praying it comes in time. But I actually, I'm not sure if I have too much faith that it's going to come in time. But other than that, that is everything that I bought, I think think looking at it now i said i was planning on re-wearing most of my stuff and i actually have done like i have planned my outfits and the majority of it is all the stuff that i've had before but with it all spread out around me it looks like i bought quite a lot like i say i will link everything that i bought down below again i will link my tiktok and my instagram so if you want to see how i style all these pieces or just want to see what they look like on then make sure you go and follow them Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video.